Hi everyone, finally I am back after a long break. Since my last video, a lot of changes have happened at the launch site at Starbase. Drastic design changes have been made to the whole Stage 0 especially at the orbital launch mount. Elon Musk has already said the next Starship test flight could happen in a couple of months and I think they are right on track. Booster 9 and Starship S25 have also been confirmed as the next Starship intended for flight. Works related to the installation of the new water-cooled steel plates under the launch mount and repairing work of the damaged components of the launch system continues. Starship S25 still awaits for its static fire test on test stand at suborbital pad B. Yesterday, the first nitrogen tanker truck delivery was seen at the orbital tank farm. And a few hours later, we could witness the first LOX delivery since the first integrated flight test of Starship. Rebuilding work of the launch pad is going at an impressive pace unlike many had predicted earlier. SpaceX is gearing up for its 38th mission of the year. Another Falcon 9 rocket has gone vertical at Pad 39 at Kennedy Space Center ahead of CRS-28 mission on Seder Day morning. Boeing has confirmed that Starliner's first crewed mission which was initially targeted for launch in July has now been postponed indefinitely. Boeing's vice president and program manager of Boeing Commercial Crew Program said currently the crew capsule is having two issues related to parachute and wiring which would require further inspections and testings if needed. With the current issues, we don't know if Starliner's first crewed mission to the ISS would be feasible this year. That is it for now. I hope you still like the video to be short and concise. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now until the next video.